Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use LinkedIn Groups uh, to find your ideal customer profile, aka ICP, translate that information directly into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is the sales version of LinkedIn, and then using Scale List to extract their information and on top of that, find their valid email and phone numbers. And then at the end, as a bonus, I'm going to share with you also a template of a cold email that you could use to reach out to your prospects. That video is divided into five parts. So the first two are mainly related to LinkedIn groups and the what you should do and should not do uh, with LinkedIn groups and how to use them and all the possibilities that exist and all the communities that you can leverage outside of LinkedIn groups. Third part is mainly for LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Fourth part is for scale list and how you can extract the data out of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And then the fifth part is related to the templates. Let's jump straight into it, guys. So here we are into a LinkedIn group. So that one is called uh, SaaS Sales Professionals. And as you can see, I joined that group uh, about four years ago now. And that group is, I would say, dead. <laughs> so it's a very good example um, of why you should not join or interact or uh, create even your own uh, LinkedIn group. Because as you can see, I mean, you still have people posting from time to time. So how have it? posted one day ago, but there's no engagement. Christina posted seven months ago, but there's no engagement either. Prashi, no engagement, etc., etc. There is literally no interaction. So you're not missing on any business by not being there or not interacting there. However, one thing that is interesting here is this. The 4,400 and 81 members because if those members are here it means that at some point they were interested by the topic or maybe they are still interested in the topic which is either SaaS, sales or both so now we're going to see how you can uh, leverage those members and find the right approach to reach out to them so to actually find uh, LinkedIn groups, what you have to do is to use uh, the search bar that is here. So let's say I want to find groups that are related to uh, B2B sales. So what you have to do is you go into the search bar and you write B2B sales, and then you press enter. And what's going to happen is on this page, you have multiple categories and one of them is groups. So you can click on group groups and you can see all groups. So what you can do is for those that you haven't joined, you can explore them. For example, this one B2B sales network. And you can see that, I mean, there is a little bit of interaction here, but nothing more even if you have um almost twenty seven thousand people on that group but importantly if there is a linkedin group that you want to leverage or at least you want to leverage the members uh, of that group to join it you just have to click on join and that's it and if um there is a specific authorization um that is usually uh, seven days and you haven't received any approval, you can reach out to the admin. So in that case, the admin is Anthony Lanarino. Also, um, the LinkedIn groups are clearly not the only one alternatives to create communities. So you have many other platforms such as Facebook groups, uh, Discord, Slack, School, and probably others uh, that I forgot. Um, before we go into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I want to highlight the fact that if somebody is 
in a particular LinkedIn group is something that you should use as a signal. So it means something. And now it's your role by sending them an email to verify if that signal is the right one. So here we are into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is the sales version uh, of LinkedIn. And it allows you to access a lot more information than um, the traditional LinkedIn, such as um, alerts, news, and a lot more information about the accounts and the leads uh, themselves. So the way we're going to access the 4,000 plus members of the SaaS sales professional LinkedIn group is by using what we call lead filters. So here we are into a lead filter. Uh, I mean, we are in a lead search technically. And in a lead search, you have 30 plus uh, filters that helps you to really target your ideal customer profile and, and find them actually on LinkedIn. So first thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the group, the LinkedIn group that we just mentioned, which is this one. So to find them, you just need to go into the personal uh, here and then you click on groups. And then after that, you write down SaaS sales professional and it's appearing. So you're going to see that we are retrieving the 4,000 uh, members. So we have 4,481 members and here we have, yeah, 4,000 plus. So we cannot see all the details, but you know that they are there <laughs> technically. So now your ICP is, uh, let's say, head of sales. So you go into current job title and you write head of sales. Pretty easy. And then you end up with 46 results. So you're going to tell me, OK, that's awesome. I know uh, we have 46 results here, but how do I extract them and how do I get them out of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So for that, it's super simple. You just have to use a uh, scale list. So scale list is actually a LinkedIn Sales Navigator extractor. And to create an account is super simple. You just have to click on try for free. And then you uh, fill in your full name, email, and new password, and you sign up for that. Once done, what you will need is to add the scale list uh, Chrome extension. And that's something that we're going to do together, actually. Just click on Add to Chrome, Add extension. Here we are. It's downloaded. So you just pin it. And that's awesome. So now if we go back to where we were, which is that search, um, we're just going to refresh that page. And then you will see that there is a button that appeared, export leads. So by clicking on export leads, which is the scale is button, you're going to be able to extract the 46 leads. So let's do it. So I click there and now it's going to open scale list. So let's wait for a few seconds. So as you can see, it's loading and we're just going to wait a little bit more. So here we are, um, the search and the data uh, have been extracted. So you see it's written uh, new list number five. We don't want to see it that way. So. I'm just going to put a more relevant title and out of the 46 leads extracted, we got 22 valid emails. So it's almost 50%. We got 11 risky emails. So take into consideration that a risky emails, uh, risky emails, 20 to 30% of them, um, they are actually not risky. So in that, 
uh, extract, uh, we actually got more than 50% uh, emails that are valid. And we got also 21 mobile numbers. So that's how simple it is to go explore um, a LinkedIn groups, get the members of a LinkedIn group directly into Sales Navigator, and then pull out your ICP in Sales Navigator, and ultimately um, extract those uh, leads using scale list. And in literally less than five minutes, you get your leads with valid information that you can use to directly reach out to them. So now you're gonna tell me, okay, that's great. Uh, we got the leads plus the contact details of those leads, but what do I do with them if I, let's say, want to reach out uh, to my prospects uh, via email? So very simple for that, you can just click on export CSV and you click on export all leads, for example, and automatically you're gonna have an export of your leads. So that's a sample of the extract that we've made. And so you can see that you have all the 46 leads that are here and the type of information that you get uh, when you are extracting the data in a CSV. So you get the LinkedIn profile uh, URL as well as the Sales Navigator profile URL. All the information related to the prospects, so first name, last name, job title, company, industry, etc., etc. You also um, get a sense of if the prospect has a LinkedIn premium account or not. So the Y here stands for yes and the N stands for no. And you get the website, you get the email of your prospect with the status <clears throat> of the email and also the phone numbers. So that's it for the data. But now let's say that you want to uh, use Lemlist, for example, to send a cold email to those prospects. I typically use that template. So let's say I'm one of the prospects. So the email would be the following. Hey, Arno, I'm reaching out because I just joined a SaaS sales professional group on LinkedIn, but it seems dead. I was willing to exchange about uh, sales and in the SaaS industry, for example, and I have seen you are a member. Is this topic still interesting for you? P.S. I just read the blog post about it. Maybe you will find it interesting and then you can put the URL. So that's a very, very simple uh, template. The main thing is that you start with an observation. So that first sentence is about an observation that you've made on the prospect itself. So it shows that you've done your homework and it shows that you're not coming from nowhere. Uh, second is more like your knowledge. So it shows that um, you have a little bit of background and you know and want to interact about that particular topic, which is usually associated to uh, the group, the LinkedIn group itself. And then the, I mean, it's not really a call to action. It's more like a call to conversation. So you want to validate if the person that you are reaching out to still has an interest. And it's a very soft way to potentially engage a conversation with the prospect. And then the PS is mostly to provide value to, to a prospect because if you come up with that approach and then in the PS you share some additional value to a prospect about that topic, Technically, you have slightly more chance to get an appointment or at least start a conversation either through uh, email or potentially you're gonna have a call later, but at least you start 
something and you might have an answer, a reply from that prospect. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have learned how uh, you can now interact more easily with uh, LinkedIn group members. And feel free to give and share comments um, uh, in the comments down below. And uh, I see you in another video. Take care, guys. Peace.